We are down to serious business. At this point, any game we go review, it be serious business. My name is Slimo. Yeah, welcome to Basketball Pro, where we do the hoop stock. And today we have another interesting episode. Um, Teddy Day here with us. We have our debutants, Jay Tali. What's up? Hello, what's up? Welcome what's to up, the what's show. Up, and up, up? like I said earlier, we are down to serious business. Now, the games we'll be reviewing just give us a bigger picture of how. Of course, the postseason will look like. And we had a potential finals matchup where we had the best team in the league. In fact, with the best record in the league. The green guys, the Boston Celtics, go to the high altitude inside way, then go face the Denver Nuggets for, of course, potential final matchup. Uh, Denver Nuggets, reigning NBA champions, had to put on a show for the fans. And they did, winning that one, 115-109. to Teddy, I want to start with your Boston Celtics. I think the preview of this game, everybody knows this one, would be a very, very tough game. It was definitely a tough one. What did you take from this game? Are you positive with how the Boston Celtics plays? Are you happy with how they played against the Nuggets? First of all, I want to touch on Jokic, how deadly Jokic was in this game. Because your I, team lose, no go touch on your team. You know, somebody team as, at the beginning. At the beginning, uh, we put uh, Pozengas on on Jokic. First possession, Jokic was like, "Hey, you are tall, mm. but you don't have size." Mm. Mm. He was on the Use floor, the body on him. and then. We changed, we, they, we changed the, the strategy. Now we put a guard on him. Mostly it was Drew Holiday. Mm. And then Pozingas was in the help. So when um, Jokic um, bullies his way through, Pozingas comes in to help. help. But it wasn't, it wasn't helping because now, now you have to think Aaron of Gordon, Aaron Gordon. And Aaron Gordon is one of the biggest problems in the NBA because when teams spread out in the corner, it's a shooter. But then now it's a non-shooter yeah. and someone who is cutting. So, you, so when it's a shooter, you know when... When I'm I'm the help I'm the help defender I just close out. Mm. But for him, he's he's, he's cutting. Coming, Whilst exactly. you are closing out, he's cutting mm. and he's already there. That's 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 that's. So you, you have to think of the center man and you have to think of Aaron Gordon. And then I will switch it up and then we put Tillman or Horford on 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 your cage. And I think it stabilized the game for a, a bit, bit. But still, he was still eating. That is that is how that's how good your cage is. Mm. Sometimes they. Um, NBA fanatics they, they bash AD and bead and all for, for not being able to hold Jokic but, but you cannot can't. hold Jokic exactly. and this game was clear and Murray I think Murray over the years his greatness has been tied to Jokic anytime you mention Murray you mention Jokic but off the non-Jokic minutes in, in this game he showed us why he's, he's one of the, one of the best the players team. he held the team and then look the way he was playing it was it was like Come for me, and I'll show you what I can do. No less pick and rolls, more ISOs. Mm. We were just throwing, Celtics were just throwing bodies on him, bodies on him, and it wasn't working. Jalen Brown. Every time Jalen Brown starts a game in, in the first quarter and he plays well, we, we are able to, he's able to elevate our game because he sets the pace for us. And in this game, I think some of the driving lanes that used to be around, Nuggets closed them, but then still, he was bullying his way through, finding ways to get to the rim. And he started putting pressure on the rim early. And I like our um, Celtics um, shot selection. Because mostly, I think we've been bashing them about how they only shoot threes. Mm. But in this game, when we, when, when, we, when we started shooting the threes and it wasn't working, mm. we went to our post. They didn't went to his post game. And then we were attacking the rim every time. Every time. And I want to give a shout out to um, Watson, Peyton. Peyton, Peyton Watson. Watson. Amazing performance. Um, I think in the NBA, he is the second NBA player with most um, shot blocks behind um, Derek White, which is amazing. And he's not even a starter. He's, he's, he's from, the, from bench, the bench, which is amazing. Look, he's, he was put on, he was put on um, Porzingis. He did an amazing job. On he was put on Tatum. Tatum. He did an amazing job. And he was the help defender and sometimes the tag man. And he's, look, there's no way you're getting past that guy and you get an easy shot. Mm. Hey, Teddy, I swear, this is a mission. They shocked me. No, I, because no. I wanted you to, Maybe touch on why the Celtics look, but it seems like you are so overwhelmed by the Denver Nuggets. But first yes. of all, <laughs> let me let, let me go to Jay now. Bef before this game, the Denver Nuggets, everybody knew, okay, they are the best team in the league. But um, record wise, is the Celtics. Do you think the Celtics give them much of a fight? If we get this potential matchup in a seven game series, after what you've seen, are you convinced the Celtics will beat them? No, they can't. No way. No chance, no chance they can be the Denver Why? Nuggets. Mm. Denver is a complete is, 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 it, is it so is it so overly mm. reached? Like it's, it's, oh, it's, it's, not it's, it's, it's not so overly reached, but Denver is a complete team. Mm. When you look at this team in the pick and roll, Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic, yeah. unstoppable. Mm. Aaron Gordon, cutting, lobs, mm. blocks, defense, offense, coaching, 
Jumazula, he just came into the league. But, but, but this game, not, I think Aaron so Gordon's ago. defense was questionable because very, every very time Jalen Brown was on him, Jalen Brown was. I think like it was King. KCP and Watson covering mm, him exactly. most of the time. But go on, go ahead. But and, and especially with the Boston Celtics, something that you said, um, their short selection. Very, very. It's very, very the cool. whole season. It's been shaky because they depend so much on the third ball, right? Mm. So anytime they shoot below like thirty-two percent, they see. lose. You can check it. It's it's everywhere. Mm. This game, they shot twenty-eight point nine percent and they lost. Yeah. Tatum was like two of seven. Porzingis was like three of ten, and they lost. So in the playoffs, things slow down. You need people who can be able to actually look at the defense, dissect, and know exactly what to do. That's what Jamal Murray and Jokic do. You can't stop Jokic. That's what he does. So if if you ask me, let's say Boston Celtics, I think they can put up a good fight, maybe six games, seven games, but. Their short selection. Mm. I don't think. I don't think they can be the Denver Nuggets. Well, I don't think so. Well, well, I have to disagree with you a bit. Is I'm tilting towards the Boston Celtics because they are the first team I've pl- they've played against the Denver Nuggets and I've been impressed. See, the Suns beat them, but I'm more impressed with how the Celtics played because once they started, I was looking at how Porzingis would play. Porzingis, they tried to throw different bodies at Porzingis. He was hitting shots over the smaller players. Jokic right. came and he definitely could Jokic. Now, Jason Tatum, one of my favorite players, shockingly. And the thing with Tatum is, we like to say this, and sometimes it's cliche because everyone sees it. He settles for the jump shot too much. Too much, true. A few occasions when KCP was on him, he took him to the rim, bullied his way, yeah. and then made, made the shot. That was what Jalen Brown was doing. That's how come Jalen Brown had 42. Yeah. Jalen Brown yeah. attempted 14 free throws. He made only seven. If it was Tatum who was attempting those free throws, make he's making around more. 90%. So Tatum, get to the basket if the three ball is not falling. Even if you start and you get to the basket, you are now confusing them. Put pressure on the rim. Tatum is not doing that. And now... They have to match the physicality of, of the Denver Nuggets. They are putting big bodies on you. Aaron Gordon, Michael Porter Jr. They are playing physically and that's what I have to give credit to. Jalen Brown, I think he was amazing over there. And then finally, I think with, with the Denver Nuggets, is pick your poison moment. If you, if you double team Jokic, you send the helper. Aaron, Aaron Gordon, Gordon is, is there. If, if you try to block Aaron Gordon from getting the baseline, he's kicking out to KCP who around corner threes. He's almost perfect to so Michael Porter Jr. And then you also like to go to the ISO ball where you have Jamal Murray, one of the tough shot makers in the league. And I think if you've got those three as a weapon, I think the Denver Nuggets are unstoppable. But for me, right now, sitting right now, I think the Celtics might beat them in seven, but it's going to be one, one, even, hell, of, one even, hell of a task even, for them. Even, even their bench, comparing the way um, Nuggets bench are playing now, the way they are playing physical. It's like, Peyton Watson is playing like he wants to impress the coach. Yeah. He wants to show him that in the, yeah, in the playoffs, so wants, give can, me more minutes and, I, and I'll show you yeah, what I can do. Right. But when you come to uh, Celtics, Sam Hauser, <laughs> it's questionable. Peyton Pritchard. Pritchard. Yeah, yeah. Um, in, in this game, I think um, when he came in, they were hunting for him. Jokic was yeah. hunting for him and it was always a mismatch. He gets him in the post, bullies, bullies, bullies his way him. and it's easy. He, did, he didn't shoot. He didn't, he didn't make it. He didn't make any points. He didn't shoot anything for us. He was just in the game and I think he was just being the backup points guy and we don't need that in the playoffs. We need someone who can show us who, who, who can win. Look at... But I think if, if you compare the two benches, G, from a Celtic standpoint, yeah. through the whole season, I had this conversation with a Celtics fan on, on, on Twitter and he was like, the Celtics um, bench usually don't produce in big games. But this is the case where when they play the Clippers and, and, and around the latter part of the first quarter, getting into the second quarter, I saw Peyton Pritta playing extremely well. Some house are playing well. Do you think the Celtics bench do need a lot of production from them to be able to be the Denver Nuggets when it comes to playoff time? I, I don't really think they need a lot mm. of production from them because their starting five is arguably the best, best starting in the, five in the whole league. The most I mean, we'll call it. They, are, they are set from Derek White to Paul Zingas to um, Tatum, Brown, Tatum, Drew Holl- Holiday. Yesterday, Holiday, I think, with about a minute left in the game, yeah, made two, two, shot, two, two clutch threes. Yeah. Clutch threes to keep them in the game. And, and he was doing a lot. So I don't think you really need so much production from the bench. But I think they, they will need to make shots. Yeah, Somebody like Alza. They need to make shots. Peyton Pritchard needs to make shots because those are the, the few minutes in the playoffs that your starters will have time mm-hmm. to actually sit on the bench and catch their breath. So if you're in the game, you have to be in the game for a good reason. You have to produce. You can't just, like he said, Peyton Pritchard yesterday, he, he didn't do anything. Mm-hmm. He didn't even take a shot. So how can you give me at least like 12 minutes of basketball and you can't score a single Zero point? points. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, that's, that's and, and they are hunting you on, exactly, on the other exactly, end yeah, and they are scoring on you. You're you liability. You're, 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 you're not asking for you to be the superstar. you're not scoring. So I mean, actually, you, 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 you have to do your bit. It's the playoffs. So you have to show up. Exactly. You but I think up. there are final two things within that game that we'll have to touch on. I spoke about it earlier, but we have to go into the numbers. The free throw disparity. The Denver Nuggets shot 95% from the free throw line. Nikola Jokic was 10 
over 10 Ooh. from the free throw line. Whereas the Boston Celtics shot 65% from the free throw line. If you favor them, I get these small margins, yeah. you have to close them up. Matters. And then number two, it's in Tatum. Clutch Clutch three point shot. shot. Mm. And, and then you miss. It's, it happens subs- in the Cavs game mm. and then in this game. In the twice. Cavs game, he had Darius Gallon. I had to take him to the Bully. Missed, Bully missed, m- missed that shot. But I want you to have this one before we move to the next topic. Jason Tatum, is he someone you can trust in the clutch? Because this is a conversation for the Boston Celtics fans where they've been complaining. Tatum is not that guy in the clutch. What's your whole take on that? I mean, um, we all know that Tatum's role model is Kobe Bryant, right? Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, true, yes. Right? oh yes, true. Right? Okay. Mentality. Mm. All right. So so can you say Kobe will do what like Tatum is doing? Oh yes. Come on, man. Kobe will take Kobe take No, I, no, take I, I, mean, I mean he would make them. Right? Yes, he would oh, make exactly. Them. He's clutch. That's the difference between both. That, that's the difference. And that's why I was a bit skeptical when you said that you think the Celtics can be the Nuggets in, in seven because, games. Because you think Tatum be- is not a closer? When when it gets like critical, let's say the last Four minutes going in the playoffs, things really slow down. Mm. The coaches like the they, 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 they game the game plan for you. They actually have time to concentrate because mm. it's a series. It's not like a, a regular, regular season game season, that yeah. you just play one game and then you're gone. They actually have time for you. They prepare for you. Tatum hasn't been clutch. I mean, it, last uh, against Golden State, uh, mm. 2022 mm. in the finals. Exactly. He was come on. Nowhere to be found. I mean, but, he but was last year the playoffs. Game he was seven lost. against Philly. He was clutch. Oh, he, he was. He, he came up at the right He was time. clutch, but he, he's not clutch consistently. Okay, okay. That, you, that's you, you, you have to be there at that level. You see, the reason why them and I guess they won the chip last year is because in the clutch, Jokic and Murray were unstoppable. Mm, yeah, like you, you couldn't stop them in the clutch. Jokic can score so easily. He can't jump. He's not athletic. I'm even surprised. He, he can't do anything. He, he moves slow, but you just can't stop him. Mm. Tatum needs to try, as you said, he needs to try and drive the ball more. I mean, you are literally like 6'9". Exactly. Why, like are shots? Shots. Why are you shooting jump shots? Why are you shooting, shooting and, jump and, shots? And, and that's how I'll end, uh, I'll end this one's review. Jason Tatum, one of those players that you feel has the potential to be the best player in the league, but in the clutch. Why I feel like he has a problem is what is Jason Tatum's go-to move? If you look at the best <laughs> players in the league, Kawhi's yeah. go-to move is what? The mid-range. The mid-range. If it's the final shot, he's Tyloo is drawing a play for him to go into the mid-range. mid-range. LeBron James, what is his go-to move? He's getting he's driving, downhill, to the going to the basket. Yeah. Jokic in the in post, the, he's the going post. to bury you. Stephen Curry from way Point downtown. Three. We've got Kevin What's Durant in, as a in the mid-range. Yeah. So I think if he develops... Even DeRozan. Yesterday, yeah. DeRozan Exactly. Was, so if he develops a signature move, maybe that could be it for Jason Tatum. But let's get to the second part of the show where this time it be agenda. Draymond Green on his podcast, <laughs> on his podcast, so he say, um, Wemby for no win defensive player of the year after all what Wemby has done. Um, around I think leading the league in blocks or something yeah. like that. He's saying that with the record of the San Antonio Spurs, Wemby cannot win, or else we'll have to shift the goalpost for Jason Tatum to win MVP. Wow, what are the odds for Wemby winning? Do you think Wemby winning DPOI? It's more difficult than Tatum winning MVP. I think Wemby has a better chance of winning, winning. Mm. than Tatum because, you see, I think this is an individual award, right? Yes. Mm. What he does when he's on the court, mm. they're number one in defense. You know. They're one of the best defensive Yes. Teams. Yeah. But when he's off, they are dead last mm. in the whole league. Like, like they are terrible. And he's leading the league in, in blocks. I mean, you the, yeah, you can't take drops, a, in, anything away from him. He's leading the league in blocks. Rebounds. He, he's, rebounds. He, like, he's everywhere. Rebounds. Like, yeah. he does so much for his team that you 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 you, you can't say he doesn't deserve it. Because I think it's it's like um an, an individual award. You just have to give it to him. He's done so much. I think apart from him, I will think about Anthony Davis. Then maybe Rudy Gobert. Rudy. No, Ru- Rudy before Anthony. I don't I don't really like Rudy Gobert, so I think I'm going to be biased on him. But Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't, I don't, I, I don't which, really which like one do you think is more difficult to comprehend? Tatum winning an MVP or Wemby winning the DPO? Tatum winning an MVP is yeah. it's, it's more difficult to more comprehend. Because let's say Embiid was still here. Clear. He, he would have been mm. clearly right the now, MVP. Embiid no day. Sure. Embiid no day. And, the next, the and the next person <laughs> making the wait, making the, the kind of mm, the kind of points Jokic. that um, Embiid uh, is Embiid, making uh-huh. is Shea, Doncic, and then Jokic. Ooh. Like the numbers. Yeah. That's maybe 32 Giannis, points yeah. per game, 34 points per game. has to yeah. be in the like, that's, that's, Doncic, that's, that's the next person we can look to. You're on the best team. You are the best player on the team. But your numbers... Uh, we, we cannot we cannot say because you're on the best team and maybe you are given 25 points per game we should take you over someone making uh, giving us 35 but points that, per that's, game that's, that's where Draymond Green will be angry and yes. come and see every year the narrative changes it changes for the yeah, it this changes. year is for the best player on the best team next year is for the scoring leader the other year is for As someone triple doubles or exactly, something yeah. exactly yeah. so I think every year it changes but 
Personally, if you are looking at it closely, I think you guys are all right. Wemby winning DPOY, it's, it's not bad. But for Tatum winning MVP, that will mm. take a huge it's, stretch. It's a really yeah. beating, beating the Kola Jokic. And I think he's, not even he's got a lot he's of dark horse. The he's, he's, well. he's the dark horse. <laughs> but what do you guys think in the comment section? Tatum for MVP or Wemby for DPOY? What do you think about the finals matchup as well? What has this told you? Has this told you that the Denver Nuggets are going to repeat or we are going to see the Boston Celtics? Maybe the Celtics will be praying that someone kicks out the Denver Nuggets before the yeah, NBA yeah. finals. But that was it for NBA Pro today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Kindly subscribe to the channel. What did they wait for? If you enjoy the sports content from Pro, kindly hit the subscribe button so we all enjoy what we are bringing to you. Myself and the guys are out. We'll see you some other time for more basketball content.